Hey there, guess what I have for you today? Got this beauty, Royal Model O. They're fantastic typewriters. I can't wait to show it to you. All right, stay tuned. So let's start from the back here. And um, I wanna point out, this is where your serial number is. It's on the left side, kinda underneath the carriage. And then you can go to typewriterdatabase.com and look up <clears throat> the serial number and find out approximately when um, your machine was manufactured. Now the Royal Model O is kind of a, a basic typewriter, it doesn't have some of the extra stuff. For example, there's no tabulator on a Royal Model O. <clears throat> so, but to set the margins, you need to flip this back panel and then you just press and drag your margins, okay? Just like that. And then put this back. On the right side, you're gonna find your paper release carriage release. This is your line selector. So that's single space, double space. Now the one thing about the Royal Model O and any of the smaller typewriters is the return handle is shorter, which <clears throat> if you know anything about sciencey stuff, you know it actually takes a little more effort to hit the return handle when it's sh shorter versus when it's longer. So keep that in mind, um, especially on your travel typewriters or little ones like this. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to put a little more effort into it. Now the tab and or metal lever back here, that release, releases the platen. So when it's engaged, it clicks every half of a line when you pull it forward, it releases it, okay? Make sure it is engaged when you start typing. Now, if you move the carriage over to the left and you pop open the top, we'll take a look at what's on the inside here. Let me hold it up. <clears throat> and there you can kind of see what it looks like inside. Also, if you go to the product listing link that's in the description below and click on that, you'll find images for this particular typewriter and you can um, use those images, especially this interior shot for your reference. Feel free to screenshot it or save it. Um, this is where your spools go, and the Royal Model O uses a universal ribbon, which you can find on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. They are pretty easy to find. Um, a universal ribbon is a two inch spool with a half inch ribbon. This does take a two color ribbon. You could certainly put a single color in there if you want. Um, but when you are installing it, black is on top, red is on bottom. Make sure that the ribbon is threaded through these guide wires. There's one here, here, and then off, obviously the middle area. That's where that photo is gonna come in handy to show you kind of how to thread that ribbon. And these spools, they just pop in and out very easily. Right here on the left side, that is your ribbon reversal. So um, right now it's going this direction. When you get to the end, you wanna reverse it and go this way and you'll just go back and forth lots of times before you use up all the ink. There's a lot of ink in those ribbons. So uh, keep that in mind that you'll be going back and forth lots of times on your ribbon until you use up that ink. If you have your original spools and you want to um, uh, put fresh ribbon on it, you can certainly 
send us your spools and then we'll put fresh ribbon on that. There is a link to the custom ribbon option down in the description below. In the middle is your touch control. That just determines how hard these type bars are gonna strike your paper. On the right is your color selector. So we've got black, up is red, and then down is white. And you should never use this. This is your stencil selection. And if it's on stencil, on the white, your typewriter is not gonna type properly. So if you have issues typing, there's two things you should always check. First, reverse the direction of your ribbon, and then also make sure that your color selector is firmly on black or red and not on the white. Okay, on your Royal Model O, when you close the top, if you just pop it down, if you just let it down like that, it's not gonna pop in all the way. And it's really important that you do do that. Make sure it snaps down because the clearance between the handle and the top is minuscule. It is just a few centimeters. And so if it's not popped down all the way, it's gonna scratch your beautiful black gloss finish. Like this one, it's hard to see, but there is a scratch right here. And that's because there is such a small clearance between the handle and the cover. So that's really important. Your Royal Model O should have glass keys with the chrome, um, circles around them and um, they're beautiful like this one they're beautiful they just look great on the left side is a margin release which i'm going to show you that in action here in a second you have your backspace backspace does not erase backspace just backspaces and if you make a mistake and you will you can type over it or you can x through it or line through it um, but part of typewriting is embracing those mistakes because you will make them. Now the shift is a little bit different on these older models. So obviously shift um, to go to uppercase, but the shift lock, when you press down on it, you also have to push back and you'll see that there's a little pin right there and that lock goes underneath that pin. And then when you're ready to release your shift lock, either one of these shifts, just press down on it, that shift lock will pop away from the pin and then you can release. So that's the basics of the typewriter. Let me load a piece of paper and we'll kind of go through a few things. Make sure when you load that piece of paper, you put it underneath the metal bar. Also, the paper goes right against this back plate. You just set it there and then turn your handle. If your particular typewriter is having a hard time loading that paper, um, it could be that your platen is really hard or the rollers underneath are flat or cracked or something like that, and you'll need to take it to a service person, but you can use it. Um, sometimes what I do is I'll release, do the paper release, and then I'll kind of push the paper all the way through if the platen isn't grabbing it. Okay, so I like to come all the way up to make sure it's even, which it is. If it's not even, again, that paper release, pull that forward. You can move your paper, adjust it, however you wanna do that, all right? And then again, um, you have your line selector. Let me go to single, there's single, okay. So I am gonna move my margins in. To make them a little more narrow. But um, I'm gonna type so you can kind of hear it. And then also I'm gonna keep typing to show you that margin release because you, your bell, you can hear mine, will ding when you get to the end of your right margin. And that's saying, hey, you're running out of space, time for you to hit your return handle. But if you're in the middle of a word or a thought and you don't wanna hit the return handle, then that's when your margin release comes in handy. So let's just do a little bit of typing. Also, a number one is not on a Royal Model O, so you can use either the lowercase L or the uppercase I. In this case, I am gonna use the lowercase L. There's that bell. 
Okay, so now it's completely stopped. So I'm gonna hit the margin release, which is right here. And so that's how the margin release works. Obviously, if you're hitting margin release on every single line, then you need to reset your margins. The margins are there for a reason. It's to keep everything in line. And so the margin release really is for just um, every once in a while if you need to extend, um, like I said, a word or something like that. But um, it shouldn't be used on every line. So that was just... Um, it's just there for that occasional use. So let's try the red ribbon. So you can hear how cute, and I love the sound of the, <coughs> excuse me, of the tick, tick, tick of this particular typewriter. It's wonderful. Now one of the things with typewriters, especially this one, if you'll notice when you hit the shift, watch the carriage so the shift is lifting the carriage so it's literally lifting the weight of the carriage which is the heaviest part of the typewriter and so after a while it will start to hurt your pinky which is why um some of the typewriters have what is called a floating shift as you get um, a little bit into later years. This is a 37. Um, they start to introduce a floating shift and that is where the, um, let me open this, this escapement, this type basket actually lifts and it's much lighter and much easier and it's smoother transition. So um, that, just keep that in mind when you're typing, if you're doing lots of typing, um, on a regular basis, remember that those with a shift that lift the carriage is a lot harder on your pinky than those that lift the basket area. Okay, so that is how you use a Royal Model O. Um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Share the images of your of your Royal Model O with us. We'd love to see it. Um, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like follow us. Remember, every Saturday we have new typewriter listings. All right, happy typing and have a blessed day.